Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Better Updates. If you don't know me, I'm Rakesh Nigi and I have an aviation enthusiast. Today we will be discussing about what is an AC motor, what are its advantages and also we will be discussing about its speed of rotation and its formula. After this we will be discussing about how is an AC motor rated and this will be followed by the applications of AC motors in aircraft. Okay, so let's start. So friends, I have already given the heading AC motors. So let's start. So what is an AC motor? Let's first understand what is an electrical motor. An electrical motor is basically a device which can convert electrical energy into mechanical energy. Now this mechanical energy is in the form of a drive, okay, which we can connect it to any consumer equipment required like a pump or a generator. So likewise any other unit which requires a drive can be connected to the output of a motor. Okay, next, what can be the types of motor based on the types of power supplies? A motor can be of AC type or DC type. If I talk about DC motors in brief, these are those motors which get DC input and that DC input is converted to mechanical energy by the motor. Okay, so these DC motors are not much used in modern commercial jets. Why is that like that friends? Because we know well friends, the modern commercial jets they are based on AC supply which is because the AC supply or alternating current supply has a number of advantages compared to the DC. As of now let me tell you few advantages of AC over DC supply. Okay. So one of the advantages is the AC supply can be easily step up or step down as required whereas DC can't be done like that. So if I compare an AC motor with a DC motor, it is the AC motor which would provide more power okay? and note one point friends, AC motors provide more power for less weight whereas DC motors can't do that. Next if I see a DC motor and an AC motor in terms of their similarity, so one thing which is similar in them is their basic principles of magnetism and electromagnetism. But remember that friends these principles are applied in different ways in these motors which i'll discuss in my some other session now let me tell you some of the advantages of an ac motor over a dc motor okay so what i'll discuss advantages advantages of ac motor over dc motor an ac motor has less weight compared to a DC motor. AC motors have less weight as compared to DC motors. Why? It's because AC motors they operate on certain frequencies. Okay. The higher the frequency the lower will be the size of component. This I have explained in one of my YouTube sessions for which I'll share the link below. Okay. So as of now let's go ahead and learn the other advantages of AC motors. The other advantage is AC motors do not have brushes or commutators okay so brushes and commutators these are used in the dc motor okay and because of which there is one phenomenon called as sparking so because of the presence of commutator and brushes sparking used to take place in a dc motor hence that problem of sparking is not there in the AC motor. Why friends? It's because it does not have brushes and commutator. Okay. Next advantage is the AC motor is very much reliable. Reliable and require less maintenance. Okay. So note this point also friends. It's very much reliable as compared to a DC motor. And it also requires less maintenance compared to a DC motor. So I hope this point is clear. Okay, let's go ahead. The AC motor can also be used in the constant speed applications. Constant speed applications. Okay, there are some applications in which we require constant rotational speeds and that can be achieved by using AC motors. Next. The next advantage is we can design these AC motors in any phase of the AC supply. I mean to say we can design the AC motors in single phase, 
टू फेज और थ्री फेज और पॉली फेज ओके सो दीज आर ऑल द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ एन ए सी मोटर ओके आई एल क्विकली समराइज इट हैज अस वेट इट डज नॉट है ब्रसेस एंड कम्प्यूटेटर्स दे आर वेरी मच रिलायबल एंड रिक्वायर लेस मेंटेनेंस एंड दे कैन ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड कॉन्स्टेंट स्पीड ओके एंड दे कैन बी डिजाइन फॉर सिंगल फेज टू फेज थ्री फेज और पॉली फेज एप्लीकेशन एज पर द रिक्वायरमेंट ओके सो लेट्स गो हैड नाउ I'll be discussing about the speed of rotation of AC motors and relation between the speed of rotation, the frequency and number of poles of an AC motor. So I'll quickly rub it off. So now we'll be discussing about speed of rotation the speed of rotation of ac motors which is the rpm okay it is directly proportional to frequency okay that is f and it is inversely proportional to number of poles remember one thing friends the number of poles are always even okay it can be 2 4 6 okay so the relationship comes to this formula rpm is equal to 1 2 0 2 f that is the frequency divided by number of poles okay so this is the formula so in exam you can get a numerical on this okay so in exam they may give you the number of poles and frequency and you will be asked to calculate the rpm okay generally you know well friends in aircraft electrical systems the frequency used is 400 hertz so frequency will be 400 hertz so suppose you are given only number of poles then you should suppose the frequency as 400 hertz then you can calculate the rpm you have learned the relation between rpm frequency and number of poles so if i say there are two motors one is having more number of poles compared to the other then whose rpm will be more okay so as per this relation if you see rpm and number of poles are inversely proportional so the motor having num more number of poles will have a lesser rpm provided other factors remain constant so let's go ahead what we will learn is we will be learning about the comparison between an aircraft motor and a commercial motor which is used in our homes or factories so suppose there is an ac motor of 400 hertz and also there is an ac motor of 60 hertz okay so this is used in homes okay 50 to 60 hertz in india we use 50 hertz okay so i'm specifying the frequency range for commercial motor as 50 to 60 hertz so if i compare both of these motors friends you should know that the motors which operates on a higher frequency will have higher rpm why is because the rpm is directly proportional to frequency right which i have explained you a while earlier okay so as per this that is rpm directly proportional to frequency which motor should have a high rpm 400 hertz motor or 50 to 60 hertz motor 400 hertz motor right so since this motor would have very high rpms this is very much suitable for operating higher loads or i can say in lifting or moving heavier loads like in aircraft there are structures called as flaps in its wings right so those flaps if they are to be moved by an electrical ac motor okay it would be this one that is the 400 hertz motor next other applications of this ac motor that is 400 hertz ac motor where heavier load is involved can be aircraft landing gear that is the retractable landing gear or it can also be engine starting okay now we'll be learning about how rating of an ac motor is done okay or how an ac motor is rated how an ac motor is rated so this question can come in exam as well okay so you should know 
so there are certain parameters on which an ac motor can be rated so those parameters are its rpm its phase phase like is it a single phase or two phase or three phase next frequency okay at what frequency does the motor operate it can also be rated in full load current okay that value will be specified that means when the motor will be on its full load how much current it is consuming okay so that parameter is also used to rate an ac motor next is horse power output okay that is at how much horsepower is the motor operating that means whatever drive we are getting from the motor that mechanical energy how much horsepower is there in that output okay so it can also be rated in its horsepower output next is continuous or intermittent operation okay so whether the motor is used for continuous operation or intermittent operations so these are all the parameters in which an aircraft ac motor can be rated so what are those parameters the speed that is in rpm number of phases okay whether it is in single phase or two phase or three phase motor third one is its frequency fourth one is its full load current okay which i have already explained earlier horsepower output and continuous or intermittent operation so i hope this is clear next i'll be discussing about the types of ac motors types of ac motors which can be used in aircraft okay so the types of ac motors which can be used in aircraft are induction motor and it can also be synchronous motor okay so these two types of motors are used in the aircraft so let us learn some basics of these motors induction motor it can be of single phase it can be of two phase or it can be of three phase okay so now can synchronous motor be of these types of phases yes synchronous motor can also be of single phase or two phase or three phase okay friends if i talk about certain area in the aircraft where low power operation is required in those areas i'll be using one phase or two phase motors so single phase op motors they are used in single phase motors they are used in low power applications low power applications what are those applications It's like surface locks or intercooler shutters or oil shut off valves okay the valves which are used in the oil system to cut off the oil supply so those are the applications where low power is required hence in those areas single phase induction motors will be used next what are the areas in which high power motors can be used so the high power motors we use three phase okay three phase induction motors so the three phase induction motors they are used in high power applications high power applications and what are those high power applications those high power applications are like the starters engine starters the retractable landing gear system wing flaps hydraulic pumps so all these are the applications where heavier load is there okay so that's why in those areas three phase induction motors will be used okay so the higher the phase the more the load the motor can withstand next let's discuss about synchronous motor applications okay so these synchronous motors can be of low power or higher power so for lower power we will be using single phase synchronous motors so single phase synchronous motors are used in precision equipments like electrical clocks or some other small precision equipments next if i talk about 
the three phase synchronous motors so the three phase synchronous motors they are used in locations or applications where synchronous operation is required okay like the flux gate compass and propeller synchronizer systems okay so this is what we have discussed about induction motor and synchronous motor features we will be discussing about one point for your reference friends if suppose you have an induction motor of 400 hertz okay then it can run in an rpm of around 6000 to 24000 rpm okay so i hope you have enjoyed learning today's topic so whatever we have discussed let me quickly summarize so first we have discussed what is an electrical motor so an electrical motor is a device which can convert electrical energy into mechanical energy so there are two types of motor on the base of applications like an ac motor and a dc motor so which motor are good or which motor can produce more power for less weight it is the ac motors compared to the dc motors then we have discussed the advantages of AC motors after that we have discussed about the speed of rotation and where we discuss about the relation between the RPM frequency and uh, number of poles right so RPM is directly proportional to frequency but inversely proportional to number of poles after that we have discussed about AC motors rating that means how is an AC motor rated in aircraft okay after which we have discussed about the types of A AC motors which are used in the aircraft and some of their basic features which is here in front of you so in my next session friends i'll be discussing about the induction motor and synchronous motors construction and working in detail so stay tuned and thank you